welcome back for the third time today. Guys, a lot more scores going on around the country. Let's waste no time and just jump into it. The West Bracket is where we go on the sixth grade level. Bay Area Metro with a convincing 34 to nothing victory over Columbia Basin. Inland Empire downed by Seattle 38 to nothing. Quarterback Jabari Johnson, two TDs on QB keepers, runs of 33 and 12 yards. Ashton Cozart also with a 70 yard TD reception for Seattle. We go to Fort Mill, South Carolina for the seventh grade as Indiana destroys Northern Virginia 40 to 16. Northern Virginia actually up 16 nothing at one point, but the veteran Indiana team comes through in the end. Into the South bracket, GMSAA 34 nothing over Jacksonville and Central Florida. 50-0 over Southwest Florida in a game that wasn't even close. We have more games coming up on the 7th and 8th grade level. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. You can ask any coach, player, or fan. Before the beaches, the golf courses, the sunsets, Florida is known for football. But in Naples, Marco Island, you get them all. with the facilities and accommodations perfect for your off-season training, tournament, or event. Florida's Paradise Coast is Florida's sports paradise. The best youth football players in the country are at youth1.com. Youth1.com has the Elite 101 report of the nation's top 101 players, the Freshman 450, rankings, recaps, and news for football and all youth sports. And now anyone can create an athlete profile and share their stats, videos, and skills with the world. Whether you want to be the best or see the best, go to youth1.com, celebrating the best of youth sports. The Path to Naples is brought to you by the Naples, Marco Island, and Everglades Convention and Visitors Bureau. Also by Battle Sports Science and Youth One. Welcome back, guys. We're going to go to the seventh grade Midwest region where Dallas Metro was victorious over Minnesota 40 to nothing. And we also saw KC Metro beat Illinois 16 to 8. Illinois was up 8-0 at halftime, but KC Metro with a strong second half took the game. Anthony Gord, though, 64-yard touchdown, 130 rushing yards, and six tackles in a losing effort for Illinois. One more final from that bracket. West Texas victorious 22-6 over South Dakota in Wichita. Switching gears to the 8th grade, we're going to go back up to the Northeast where we saw Connecticut. 36-6 over NYC, completing the sweep there. Xavier Copening, three touchdowns at the quarterback position. Jamar Mack with a touchdown reception as well in that one. Moving down to the south in Gwinnett County, Georgia. GFL, 31 to nothing over Houston. Two-time All-American Joseph McKay had a pair of touchdowns. GFL also rescore, received scores from Jamal Haynes, Jacquez Smith, and Joshua Graham. One last final from the South region, Kentucky victorious over South Atlanta, 29-0. Quarterback Aaron Hash with a pair of touchdown passes. Jacob Shepard also with a TD reception. Now, for updates on rounds one, two, and three, you can check out everything on FBUNC.com. For round three, those games are going to be streamed live on FBUNC.com. Those games will help determine the eight teams on each grade level that head down to Naples, Florida for their crack at an FBU National Championship. We have late seventh and eighth grade games from the West and Midwest still coming. We got more from the Northeast, more from the South. Sit right there, stay tuned, we'll be back. I'm Al Pops, talk to you later.